so today we are going to uh, create a uh, agent uh, for service agent so we, we are going to configure an agent for service agent today uh, I have a special uh, org develop orgs for that first off you have to um, uh, go to setup here type Einstein setup here this is the first step you have to do it um, you click here you have to turn on Einstein the agent for this part of the Einstein umbrella I enhance your Salesforce data with generative AI to create relevant customized experience for your users okay you have to turn it on we turn on the Einstein this is the first step you have to do um, in the quick find box the next step is you have to turn on Einstein bots in the uh, go to setup and quick find box type Einstein box you come here yeah here upper right hand corner you have to turn on Einstein bots okay we are all uh, we done it okay that's that's a second step um, now in the quick find box you have to type agents uh, Einstein generative AI agent studio agent is uh, under this menu items you get this agents right so you have to toggle Einstein copilot for Salesforce here Einstein copilot for Salesforce you have to toggle you have to turn it on this is the third step um, you have to now next step is you have to refresh the browser once you turn it on you you have to reload the browser to pull the latest items now in the setup find box search and select embedded service deployments so you have to quick find box you have to type embedded service deployment it is under feature settings embedded feature deployments okay we are here connect with your customers using the enhanced messaging channel for both mobile and web talk to your account executive for details learn on learn more in Salesforce help so we are here you have to select the ESA web development embedded service deployment you have to click here so this is the embedded service deployment messaging for web deployment messaging channel ESA channel so it has um, a channel for messaging so this is a special um, uh, the developer sandbox for Einstein and agent force you, do, you have to sign up for that the next step here you have to publish it you have to click publish that is a fourth item you did
it says we are processing update the change can take up to 10 minutes to complete so you have to patient you have to be patient if you see an error you have to uh, click it again so deployment take 10 minutes but uh, you don't have to wait you can uh, move on to the next step uh, so remember this is the fifth step this is going to be a fifth step the quick find box type digital experiences click all sites Um, you have to this is a quarter cloud you have to click build uh, you have to click here so this is your experience site here so you have to click the builder for Coral Cloud, Coral Cloud site here. So it's refreshing, you have to be patient. What's in the winter 25, it's okay, so you, you can read later. So we are going to publish experience cloud here this is uh, um, the portal for the end users so, so we publish yeah. so this is the six step we did remember And you have to click got it yeah. then you have to click here Salesforce experience build the menu here click Salesforce setup so you are back to setup in the quick find box type agents let's go down here so we have uh, you have to select uh, Coral Cloud Experience Agent. This is the one we just created here. We, uh, with this dialog box here, you have to click here. So you have to open in Builder. So we are going to create the agent right now this is uh, um, builder to create agents okay so first uh, these are the topics here uh, so there's none here
so you can expand it you have to down arrow this, uh, you add topics here so I am waiting for the button here it's not been activated so there should be a new button you once it pops up you have to create new topics here over here yeah so the next step is uh, create a new topics here so I go through the documentation here and then finish it here then after that topic actions here a create agent action So you create a prompt template here. You create prompts. These are the next steps. You have to do that. But I put a link for this documentation. You can do it yourself because I am running out of time for the duration of this um, uh, video. Uh, I'm waiting for a new button here. This is it's not yet activated. It takes 10 minutes uh, to activate the agent force. I just enabled here. So you do the rest in the um, documentation.